Did you ever make anything happen? Anything you couldn't explain? You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Ah! Terrible things are about to happen. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban prison. You betrayed my parents. You're the reason they're dead. He was their friend! I will have order. Things have changed. If Voldemort's building up an army, then I want to fight. Listen me! It's your turn now. Once again, I must ask too much of you, Harry. Fight back, you coward! Fight back! Expect on Patronus! I think the most intriguing thing about Hallows Part 1 is the fact that we're not at Hogwarts anymore. Suddenly, you take them out on the road, and they feel very small in this very big world. And it's a very real world, and it's a very dangerous world. They are coming. They are coming. These are dark times, there is no denying. Harry. Harry and Ron and Hermione are forced to flee. It's a huge journey for all three of them. You can't fight this war on your own, Mr. Potter. The reason they're here, the reason they're on this journey, is much bigger than any one of them or even all three of them. What's at stake is much more important than any of their individual lives. The longer we stay here, the stronger he gets. We're all on the run and anything could happen. We could get attacked at any moment. Nowhere's safe. It makes it very exciting. They need to destroy Voldemort in order to preserve and save the wizarding world. Nobody else is going to die. Not for me. There are going to be no more Harry Potter films after these two are released. There's this feeling on set like everyone is just giving their everything to it.